shit. I'm pretty sure the writers here unknowingly wrote a developmentally disabled girl who has a fixation with bananas. The show is just flat out badly written. The only punchlines they seem to know were banana, groping, or Street Fighter style beatings for the disabled girl. so freaking annoying I can't hardly get through an episode. I don't mind the violence at all in it. It's just how freaking stupid she is. Also, her mom kills me. Just seeing her on screen makes me cringe. Really hope did bro don't end up with her. But, if it's a typical anime that is what is going to happen. I'd be lying if I said I didn't laugh, but, this is show is funny. No doubt about that. But it often crosses an uncomfortable line. You can portray a stupid character, but it's clear that our stupid girl isn't just stupid, she's mentally handicapped. And such, the abuse from our male lead stops being funny very quickly. I don't think it's a problem to show men hitting women in fiction when it makes sense. If both characters were the same gender, I'd still have a problem with this. The female MC isn't stupid, she's mentally handicapped. That makes this show's punchline basically beat the person with disabilities and that's just not okay. It's clear that she shouldn't be in a regular school at all. She should be in a special needs facility. Is there humor here? Yes. Did I laugh? Yes. But is this a good show? No. It's the supporting cast that makes the show funny. The dark hair stalker girl, the kind but often taken advantage of blonde girl, and the dog who is smarter, kinder and the most entertaining character. I'll give them some credit. They knew that this kind of humor only works in short doses. The shorter episode length is perfect for this content. Pros, it is occasionally quite funny. The theme song is funny hands down. Cons, the stupid girl isn't stupid, but obviously mentally handicapped and the abuse is not okay. But if I could give this no stars, I would. We'll actually give you cringe nightmares. From abuse, to awkward over sexual UN needed scenes, this anime will make you cry blood. Greater than do not listen when anyone tells you this is good. They have bad intentions. Sorry, I'm not laughing at the jokes, face it, psychological abuse and sexual harassment can't really even be called humor, I'm laughing at all the people who are freaking out over the anime having a dude who performs German suplexes on a girl, and other people freaking out over those people freaking out, it's one big freak out fest, but all the ridiculousness aside, this is a bit of an oddball anime, having never read the manga, can't say how it compares to it, but for me about 65 to 80% of the gags this anime utilizes don't hit my funny bone. It actually mostly makes me want to cringe, while half-heartedly snickering, refusing to acknowledge that I even remotely found the joke funny. There are some good gags and hilarious incidents here and there, but mostly the anime seems to be focused on making jokes in bad taste. Almost like that co-worker you always seem to have who thinks you just love sex jokes, or jokes that involve having an in-depth knowledge of various swear words. Awkward. All in all. I watched all the episodes currently out, and will probably watch the entire season. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Maybe I'm hoping for a really good gag as the finale to mop up all the cringe-worthy moments and make them disappear? Wow, we lasted about 10 minutes of this 13-minute show. It's just, bad. The two main characters are unlikable and egotistical. The jokes aren't funny. The fan service is pointless. The voice acting is grating. There is nothing worth your time here. Move along. Don't usually write reviews but I saw too many giving it a bad grade cause of the guy punching the girl, which is actually refreshing to see in an anime. Instead of the guys that always get punched, but besides that it's still a pretty bad anime. You'd watch this for the side characters since they're actually the funny ones, sometimes. But the main characters are just, A, the girl gets punched just for the sake of it because she's dumb, that's all. To sum it all up, most of the jokes are cringy. This show has some humorous moments, but the perversion ruins it. Yoshiko is a terrible person and it's strange belief that she can keep her friends. There's some genuinely funny antics, but sexual assault is not funny. The humor of Yoshiko's sexual antics overshadows what could hope in an enjoyable series.